Yo, see. What's up, my fellow household appliances? It's your table, Eldre, and I'm back with another video. This one was a request, just a quick tutorial on how I chop samples. Um, we're gonna be doing it in Ableton, but towards the end, I'm gonna be showing you a super cool way that you can do in any DAW. But before we get into the video, I just wanna shout out because I finally got my first patrons on Patreon. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's pretty much a platform where you can support creators that you like by giving them a small donation every month. Yeah, go check it out. I have a few different tiers. I was ready to give up on it, I'm not gonna lie, because I thought it was gonna like take off. I don't know. It was like a week where nothing happened. Then boom out of nowhere i got like four patrons within the span of 48 hours so big shout out to table gang level two member the girth guru it was the first person to join shout out to you shout out to my three table gang super producer members matthew gonzalez prod by facade and troy tins shout out to you guys link in the bio if you want to support the patreon let's get into the video <music> First off, I like chopping samples with a drum groove already ready to go, so. Two things about chopping samples. One, it's way easier to just chop up loops. So I'm not gonna show you loops. I'm gonna show you how to chop up like a full soul sample. You know what I'm saying? First thing you wanna do is open up Simpler. So Simpler is built into Ableton. You just go to Instruments and not to be confused with Sampler, it's called Simpler. They're not that big of differences. Um, if you want me to explain that further, let me know in the comments or just search up Simpler versus Sampler Ableton. I'm pretty sure you'll find a video. So yeah, we have the Simpler up and then we're gonna drag this song in. You just come over here to Slice. Let's make this bigger. So all you really need to do, see now it's chopped up on your pads of choice, your MIDI keyboard, beat pad, whatever you got. So all you really need to do is just mess around with this sensitivity. That's the way I usually go about it. You can also transpose it up and down. That's what I like to do. That's about it. I just mess around with the sensitivity, which it just automatically hits these transients. So, you know, each point is a transient and it just randomly puts them there. Uh, here's some ones that they don't even have. You can add them in yourself, but you can also do it by beat. This I more so use by beat when I'm chopping up like a loop, cause it's like, you already know tempo, you know everything, so you can. <laughs> But yeah, that'll chop it up on beat. You can set the measure to like whatever, one fourth, one bar. Yo, see, and you just play around the whole, there's no really real method to the madness. You just play around with stuff until you find something you like. All right, let's chop something up. I don't know, I don't know, but I like that. Uh, one thing I forgot to note, this actual sample, it has drums in it, so that can be a little iffy. So right here is the filter. Usually what I do to start when it's like a kick or something and a lot of bass that I wanna get rid of, I usually just put a low pass filter on the actual sampler and roll off some of the bottom. But I mean, you can do it on the EQ. Like I have a separate EQ with a high pass filter. You can just do both on here if you want, but I mean, sometimes that's all I need, but for this, I needed to EQ some of the highs out. That's how you get rid of the drums. Now, if you don't have Ableton and you have like FL Studio or Logic or something like that, um, I'm pretty sure they all have their own samplers. So you can probably take this advice and put it in those, but you can get this plugin right here, Serato Sample. I use the sampler just because it's just what I'm used to using. Cause I'm mostly sampling loops. I don't really do like full songs like this, but when you're doing full songs, like soul samples, old R&B samples and stuff like that, you're gonna wanna use something like Serato Sample. And the reason why is I'm gonna show you right now. Now. So I'm gonna load that same sample on. So check this out. It automatically got the key 
and the tempo for you. And guess what? All you do is hit find samples. So yeah, you can have it to sync with your tempo. Right now I'm just using the keys on my laptop. Unlimited amount of things you can do with this. Change the key if you want. Now it's in C. Um, also, there's a bunch of things you can do. If you want a full video dedicated to Serato sample, I will do that if there's enough comments. You can click a sample right here and you can just reverse that one. The rest of them are fine. So you can choose like this one. I'm gonna shift the key for this one. See what I'm saying? Real quick, at the end of this video, I'm gonna play both versions of this beat, and I want you guys to comment below which one you like more. So when I finish this, I don't know, I'm kinda liking both of these versions I just made. So yeah, just let me know which one you like more. So yeah, that's two super easy ways to chop up samples. You got the Simpler, and you got the Serato sample. Um, Yeah, both super cool. The Simpler, super simple, super easy. Serato sample definitely takes it up a notch, especially for songs like this. Definitely would consider checking out Serato sample. This isn't sponsored. I just really like the plugin. Don't use it that often, but when I do use it, I love it. But yeah, that's it. I hope that helps somebody who is out there trying to figure out different ways to sample. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you everybody who's streaming the music. Uh, the Steven Universe Flip is doing phenomenal on there. I have a really special single drop in March 11th. Here's a quick snippet. <laughs> That's all you get to hear. I'm gonna be doing like a free sample pack for the pre-save soon, so be on the lookout. Uh, much love. I am a table. Don't let anybody tell you what you can or cannot be. Eldre out.